Hi everyone, my name is Maddie Yakel and I am one of the co-authors for the upcoming article, The Beagle Archaeological Project, Results of the Investigations in Kipayo, Kamaligan, and Bonbon Kamarina Sur, 2016 to 2019, which is soon to be published in SciSci, the Journal of Beagle History. So I want to talk a little bit about what the Beagle Archaeological Project is and what you can expect in the upcoming article. The Beagle Archaeological Project, or the BAP as we call it, has been around Kamarina Sur, around Naga and surrounding cities um, since 2016. But this is the first publication that we're putting out and we're so excited to put it out um, with SciSci in their inaugural issue. And so the BAP is a collaboration between several institutions, University of California, Los Angeles, Partido State University, National Museum of the Philippines, and the Archdiocese of Caceres. Students from the US, the Philippines, and other institutions around the globe, as well as local community members, have been part of our excavation crews over the past couple of years. Um, and they've all been a part of making this research project a reality. You'll notice we have quite a few contributors to our article, including myself, Mikhail Achavari, Earl John Cito Hernandez, Adam Lauer, Robin Meyer Lori, Chin Sin Liu, Queenie La Pena, Father Don Federico, Father Eric Bobis, Francisco Dutar, Jared Collar, Thomas Wake, and Stephen Acabado, who is the PI for the BAP. So BAP aims to better understand how indigenous groups in the Philippines responded to Spanish colonialism, particularly, of course, in the Beagle region. We know that the Philippines is not a monolith. People have been publishing about this um, topic for a while, but we wanted to give special attention to the Beagle region, to Camarina Sur, to investigate these specific questions. And the BAP was kind of an offshoot of Dr. Acabado's initial project in Ifugao, which asked the same question, how did Ifugao people, how did Ifugaos respond to Spanish colonialism in ways that were different from other Filipinos around the country, especially in Manila, where um, quite a bit of scholarship has been done. But in these other marginal areas, such as Bicol, such as Ifugao, there's not quite as much scholarship asking these very specific questions. And so when the Spanish came to the Philippines in the 16th century, the Archdiocese of Caceres was one of the earliest dioceses established in the archipelago, making Catholicism a major part of local Beagle history. And what we wanna do is explore how Beagleanos were active agents of change during this period and not just passive recipients of Spanish influence. For example, a question we can ask is how Bicolanos maintained their identity through the disruption of Spanish colonial missionization, reduccion, and other processes that interrupted indigenous lifeways. And to answer this, we look at early Catholic churches in the region since they are known sites of historical significance. We are also interested in how Beagle changed over time, settlement patterns, human environment interactions, not just in the Spanish colonial period, but also looking at the deep history of the region. It's important to be able to compare the before, the after, and the during period of Spanish colonization to see what's changed, what's stayed the same. Survey and excavation, as well as radiocarbon dating and artifact analysis can help us see how both the landscape and the environment changed over the past several hundred years and how humans may have affected this change through things like agriculture, deforestation, settlement patterns, colonialism, and other processes. Through our excavations over the past couple of years, we've been able to see some of the material culture that Bicolanos used, including pottery, beads, shellfish, and plant and animal remains. There's still a lot of survey and excavation to come in the next few years as we move throughout the region, as we look at other churches, other sites, um, and we hope to expand our knowledge of Beagle archaeology. Now, one of the highlights of working on the Beagle Archaeological Project is the ability to see different facets of archaeology, anthropology, and research intersect, and to see communities with different expertise collaborate. The future of Beagle culture and heritage is looking really promising, and I want to reiterate again how excited we are to put out the first publication for BAP in um, Sci Sci, the Journal of Beagle History, especially in the first uh, in the first edition. It's a really, 
really important thing to publish so that um, the people of Beagle, you know, where this research is happening um, and who this research is affecting, you will have first access to all things Beagle Archaeological Project. So we hope that you enjoy the article. We hope that you learn something about Beagle history, about Beagle archaeology, about Beagle anthropology. And to stay updated and have access to the article, make sure that you're subscribing, that you're there and ready when the article comes out in the end of December. Um, and we'd love to hear your feedback uh, on this amazing collaborative project. Thank you.